Paradise awaits. <laughs> Cheers. I have a resume Wait. back then. That's really soothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's only hitting one chime, which is just making it's a perfect sweet. note. <laughs> that was pretty intense. That was really like, wow. Like this place is magic. Yeah, it is. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to a very exciting adventure vlog today. I am speaking to you from the Volcano Rainforest Retreat. I actually got an amazing opportunity to come here and film the grand opening of Volcanoes National Park. It is opening today, so I'm here with my friend Megan. Hi. Longtime viewers may recognize her. She's been in a few videos. We are just moseying around, having a very lazy morning. This is a bed and breakfast that we're at, so we're enjoying Baked some fresh goods. fruit, <laughs> some baked goods. Well, some of that wind chime. It's gorgeous. So we arrived last night late. I don't even know the last time I felt so relaxed and at peace. This is one of the most special places I've ever stayed. Yeah, this is awesome. We're so, literally in the middle of a rainforest. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do for you guys is film an entirely separate tour video where I can show you guys the grounds completely and show you the cottage that we're at because we do have a jam-packed day of fun today as well. So we are just going to enjoy our pastries and our fresh fruit. And then we have a papaya recipe that they gave us. We want to try that. So I think we're going to just keep doing what we're doing. Just having, eating. Yeah, just <laughs> eating and sitting and like breathing in this amazing rainforest that we're in and then we're gonna go check out the national park cheers before we head out for the day i wanted to just show you a couple of things about this cottage people get worried about the vog and uh, if you don't know what vog is it's basically volcanic smog it's something i've talked about a lot in my videos because it does affect my health you might think well why would we go to volcano it's going to be just terrible air quality. Well, <laughs> the thing people don't realize is that there are trade winds that actually take the VOG and wrap it around the island to where I live. So the area that I live actually gets way worse air quality than anywhere near the volcano. And I've experienced this firsthand where I have driven out of the VOG to the other side of the island, closer to the volcano, closer to the eruption and the lava flow and yet there are clear skies. So we do have a wonderful solution if for any reason the uh, air quality levels are high. They have a air purifier here. It cleans the air out in the cottage. It's automatic and I just think it gives visitors extra peace of mind. I don't know, it just makes your stay a little bit more comfortable. Just a little misconception I wanted to share with you guys. How's our breakfast coming? Pretty adorable if oh. I do say so myself. Cute. Yeah. So, excited. so the really awesome thing about this bed and breakfast that we're staying at is it's like less than three miles away from the park entrance, maybe a five minute drive. So we are driving to the park right now on grand reopening day and it's also national public lands day. So I don't know what kind of crowds we're gonna be expecting. A lot of the park is still unopened because it's still dangerous due to all of the volcanic uh, activity. Hi. Hi, so it is free today. You go first. Thank you. Thank you. We're in! 
no line. That was great. So we just arrived here at the Volcano House and who else would we run into other than Kathleen and Peter? These are the owners of the bed and breakfast we're staying at. You guys biked in? We did, we biked in. Yeah. I got my biking gloves. <laughs> <laughs> How many earthquakes has this park experienced in the last? 80,000. 80,000 80, earthquakes. Yeah, 68 were, were explosive. Were five point and above. And they caused the collapse. Yeah, yeah. And they caused the steam, the ash clouds That's when they were that big. Amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So now the crater is four times as big as it was three wow. months ago. So cool. just finished up our first hike of the day. It was pretty short. We just checked out the steam vents. Now we are at the Volcano Art House. It was actually the first structure ever built in Volcanoes National Park. It was built in 1877 and it was only accessible by horseback. So people would go up all the way from Hilo. It would take about eight hours total. They would arrive, hike into the lava lake, come back and sleep in this cabin. If they were out of cabins, you had to sleep in the lobby. So it's pretty crazy. They had the likes of Mark Twain in this house. So lots of history here. Now it has been converted to obviously an art center. So let's go see what they've got inside. So I am taking over the video. Holly put on way too much zinc filled sunscreen and looks absolutely terrifying. I don't know if you can see. She looks like she just put white paint all over her I'm face, body. We are on our second hike of the day. What hopefully leads us to the road that collapsed during all of the activity. Wow. What? Oh, I'm gonna have to jump up down the steel. the volcano house that we were at at the beginning of our stay. And all the way over here, we have the tip top of Mauna Kea. Pretty impressive. We just left the park and are ready for some lunch. So we stopped at Volcano Garden Arts. It also has a cafe called Ono Cafe, which is a completely vegetarian, eco-friendly, organic restaurant. We're right in Volcano Village, which is right outside of the park. Can't wait to go eat some yummy food.
Oh my goodness, we just finished an amazing lunch and a little garden tour at the Garden Arts Center and Ono Cafe. We actually got to meet the owner and he showed us his studio. We got to meet his rescue bunny named Noble. He's so, so cute. It's like 17 pounds, giant bunny. So cute, from New Zealand. The food was excellent, plated beautifully. I couldn't speak more highly of this place. Highly recommend checking out Ono Cafe in Volcano. We decided to make one last stop before heading back to the bed and breakfast. We are at the Volcano Art Center. They offer classes and workshops, performing arts, and there is a nature walk behind the building as well. So we're gonna go do the nature walk and check out the famous exhibit right now. My goodness, I am so relaxed right now. <sighs> I just took a shower. <laughs> so Megan and I just returned back to our bed and breakfast after a very fun and productive day exploring Volcanoes National Park as well as the town of Volcano. There's such a peaceful energy here, very creative energy. Before coming here, I would have never thought to visit the town of Volcano or to stay in Volcano. I don't know why, because I could not be more wrong. I am so, so in love with this area. We ended up purchasing a bottle of wine from a local winery, Volcano Winery. Another good spot to go visit. Unfortunately, we did not have time to visit the actual winery, but we were able to pick up a bottle. So I have the Volcano Red here. We're gonna crack this puppy open and go for a soak. Ooh, ooh. I like that sound. I really like that. Oh! Oh! That turns out they make good wine here in Volcano, too. I was, like, skeptical. Yeah, what can't they do? That's really good. Volcano, what can't they do? And it is our final day here at the Volcano Rainforest Retreat. We just finished filming our tour video. What an incredible weekend I've had. I have to say, being at about 4,000 feet elevation, the cool evenings and mornings are so refreshing. Sitting by the fireplace, going into a hot tub, these are things that are hard to find on the side of the island that I live on. Also, there are hardly any bugs, but just to come here and be able to hang out outside in the evenings and listen to the rain, it's just, yeah. I really forget that I'm even in Hawaii. So last night after our little hot tub excursion, we decided to go out to dinner. We went to Ohello Cafe, which is a really lovely restaurant right in the town of Volcano. I didn't film, but I just wanted to mention that I had incredible food, some of the best food I've had on the island. If you go to Volcano, I would highly recommend going. So yeah, we are wrapping up. We're gonna be heading back over to Kona side. I am gonna miss this place so much and I could not recommend it more. This is definitely a premium experience, but if you are visiting Hawaii or if you live on the big island and you just want the perfect getaway, this place is absolutely well worth the money. I'll be putting links below to all of the businesses that I featured. I don't know, I'm just kind of obsessed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all really soon for another video. In the meantime, I hope you're all doing very well and I look forward to seeing you really soon. Peace.